So now we have seen how to set up a NuGet server using the Azure Artifact field and how to publish an artifact using Visual Studio. But when you have uh, a, a CI CD environment within our in the DevOps implementation, you will most you will also have to configure your CI CD to connect your to your Azure Artifact while it is trying to build your .NET code or or any other uh, technology and trying to connect to a package server. So in this video, we'll look at uh, how to connect your, configure your uh, Azure pipelines to, to ensure it connects to your Azure Artifact to restore the packages. So uh, in one of our previous section, we created a, a pipeline for a .NET project with .NET Visual Studio Editor uh, pipeline. So let me uh, edit that. So uh, again, we okay, let me go to the task group. So this is a task group to create a .NET build, uh, .NET code and generate an artifact. So one of the first step here is the .NET restore, which is what would connect to uh, the new get server and download the packages before the code can be built. So by default, the, the restore happens by connecting to the global new get server. So in order to configure it uh, to connect to the Azure artifact field, uh, under .NET Restore, uh, uh, there is a feed and authentication section wherein uh, I can either say, you know, uh, uh, the feeds that I select here, which means that uh, here it will list on all the Azure Artifact feeds which are uh, enabled with the NuGet upstream or uh, we can have an Azure Artifact feed which can only stores our uh, private uh, packages. So it will list on all the packages uh, feeds that are that we have created, including if you see the NuGet server. So I selected uh, NuGet server. I also have selected use packages from the NuGet uh, that was, which means that uh, what I'm specifying is <clears throat> instead of uh, don't just connect to the internal NuGet server, but also use the global in case uh, uh, something uh, doesn't is not found. But in my case, you know, in this case. Since we are connecting the NuGet server to also to the upstream, uh, I don't need to select this uh, op uh, option. The other way is to connect feeds in my NuGet. So in the source code of your project, you can generally add a, a, a config file, nuget.config. Let me show you that. So when you say connect, and then when you say connect using Visual Studio, uh, sorry, .net, yeah, when you say .NET, uh, it will show you, it gives you uh, one of the way is to add this uh, XML configuration as part of your project uh, with, a, with the name, uh, with the file name as nuget.config. So once once the Visual Studio or the .NET finds nuget.config, uh, it understands that the, the feed URLs are configured in the nuget.config and picks up from there. So. Uh, so here we can have multiple sources, uh, just like your Visual Studio source. You can have multiple source, uh, the internal NuGet server, your global or any other packages. And what, what does .NET Restore do is it will go ahead and connect to all of the stores to uh, connect uh, uh, and, and download the packages. So uh, when you're using uh, any of these, uh, when you're using uh, feeds in my uh, NuGet config, how do we authenticate uh, again? If you see the URL, URL doesn't, it's just a URL with no authentication or user detail. So how do you enable that is using uh, credentials uh, details. So where you can create a, a new uh, NuGet server service connection where you provide the URL, the API key, the, part, the personal token that we used, and we go ahead and uh, enable that uh, authentication for this particular uh, restore or operation. So this is how you configure uh, an, a .NET or a CI build or a CI CD build to uh, connect to a particular package uh, server to either publish or download the artifact.